Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a Sephora VIB sale recommendations for you guys. Now the sale does start today for Rouge and it runs until May 6th. You get 20% off if you're a Rouge. For VIBs, it starts May 2nd and runs until May 6th and you get 15% off. And if you're an insider, it starts on May 2nd and runs until the 6th and you get 10% off. Now this time around, we are able to use uh, the codes online and in store unlimited amount of times. I know at least once before they only allowed the code one time online and then you had to go in store if you wanted to continue to use it. However, this time around it is unlimited uses online, which I personally love. I love shopping online and having it sent to me. I don't typically like going in store unless I absolutely have to. If it's like a shade match thing, then I'll go in store. But other than that, I like to order online. So I have a couple different categories that I want to go over and talk to you about. And we are actually going to start with hair care. So there are two products that I recommend. The first one being the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. Um, this is a conditioning detangler. And I mostly use this for my daughter. Um, <laughs> she, for some reason, has tangled hair like all the time. And she fights with me because I want to you know get rid of the tangles but it hurts so um we've tried a couple different ones before and nothing really worked this one works and there's no more fighting in our house because this has solved all our issues i spray it in her hair and it is so much easier to get the tangles out not to mention that her hair is really soft afterwards and it smells so good I believe this runs for $29. You get 236 milliliters, but during the sale, of course, you do get a discount, and I highly suggest this. Um, if you're looking for a conditioning detangler, this is absolutely perfect. Now, the other item that I want to talk about, I actually received this in my FabFitFun, and it has quickly become one of my all-time favorites. It is the Way Leap-In Conditioner. Um, this stuff is like magic I kid you not if you can see I'm actually about here um, but at number one it smells oh my god it smells so good um, now the thing I like about this this stuff has made my hair like softer than it has ever been in a very very long time um, I had done a hair mask like months and months and months ago and it literally damaged my hair so since then I've had to use like um, you know dry hair shampoo and things like that this has brought my hair back to life I spray it in when it's wet and I brush it and my hair oh my gosh like some days I just want to play with it and sit here and rub my hands through it because it is so soft and that is because of this this is such a great product I highly recommend it it is $26 but with the sale um, it is such a steal. So definitely, if you are looking for a leave-in conditioner, definitely check this out because this is a lifesaver. Like, I kid you not. All right, so face cleaners, I have a couple different ones I want to talk about. Uh, the very first one, I actually do have the full bottle upstairs in my shower, um, but I have a little backup bottle here, so I just figured I'd grab this. It would be a lot easier. Uh, this is the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I love this stuff. Um, this seems to remove all my makeup really easily. It makes my face feel clean, but it doesn't dry it out. I, I would have to say it's not like my favorite smell. It doesn't smell bad. That's not it. It's just... I don't really care for the smell of honey because this does contain honey, but it does such a good job. I am willing to look past that. Um, now, another cleanser that I like is the Coors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I have used this stuff. I love the way it smells. Um, it is such a great cleanser as well. Makes my feel, face feel clean, not dried out, removes all my makeup. So I'm actually looking to purchase this one through the VIB sale. Okay, so I really don't have my um, recommendations in any particular order. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into eyeshadow palettes. Now I have a couple here that I own personally that I highly recommend. If you guys are interested or have been curious about these, I highly suggest the ones that I'm about to show you for the sale. Now the first one being from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love ABH palettes and my very first favorite ABH palette is the Soft Glam palette. This is so beautiful and I cannot stress this enough. I know I've brought this in my other recommendation videos, but it is just that good. Not only are the colors absolutely stunning, um, you can really do anything with this palette. You can do everyday natural looks, you can do work looks, make it a little bit more of a nighttime vibe, but this palette literally has everything that you need. And I love that about it. The quality is good. It blends beautifully. 
there is just so many good things to say about this palette so this is definitely one of my top recommendations now if you're a little bit more on the adventurous side or if you're looking for a little bit more color i also suggest the riviera palette um this guy oh my gosh i have done so many look looks with i love the pops of color that it has here it's not too over the top um you can definitely create anything with this palette uh you can create a little bit more of an everyday look than i thought you could when i first you when I was first dug into it. It really is a very versatile palette and I really appreciate about that. Um, so if you're looking for a little bit more of pop of color or anything that has to do with color, I suggest this palette. It is so gorgeous and it is just a dream, just like my soft glam. So these two palettes are basically the best of both worlds when it comes to ABH. Now, the next three palettes I have are all from Dominique Cosmetics. These are the only three palettes that Dominique Cosmetics actually has, but I love her brand so so much um, when it comes to her eyeshadow palettes. Now this Latte palette, oh my god, it is everything. These colors are gorgeous. They blend beautifully. There is just so much product in this pan and it is absolutely a favorite of mine along with the Berries and Cream palette. Once again, you get a crazy amount of product um, and the colors are so beautiful. So definitely have your different color schemes. Um, this one is a little bit more of neutral. This one's a, a little bit more of pinks because, you know, it is the berry and cream palette. And then there is also the lemonade palette. Now, I know this one actually got mixed reviews. Um, that's because there was a, a quality issue when it first came out that has completely been resolved. And I love this palette so much. This palette is absolutely perfect for spring and summertime time and in the shades in here you guys I cannot stress enough these three palettes are just so beautiful so if this is something that you definitely had your eye on um, I suggest go ahead and picking them up during the sale because they are totally worth it now for lip products I have a couple different ones that are my ultimate top favorite lip products when it comes to liquid lipsticks my all-time favorite liquid lip is by Huda Beauty. Um, as a matter of fact, I am wearing Huda Beauty right now in this shade Girlfriend. Um, I do own way more than these, but I just happened to grab these because these are in my main drawer. Uh, this one is Girlfriend, which is what I'm wearing. Uh, we have Venus, which is a beautiful nude shade, and Flirt, which is a little bit more of a kind of like a brown shade, but it's still very, very pretty. And I love the formula of this. These are so comfortable to wear and that is something that I need for my lips because my lips always feel dry and I do not need a liquid lipstick that is going to suck the life out of my lips. So if that is something that you are looking for, I highly suggest Huda Beauty lipsticks. Um, the only thing about with this formula, it is very watery when you go to put it on um, which really isn't a big deal for me. It actually helps me in applying my lipstick because I do have crooked lips, so it is a little bit easier to maneuver. But I also love the fact that, and I, I cannot believe I'm gonna point this out on camera, but if I smile, okay, my lip is crooked right here. So this piece can sometimes goes underneath my lip, sometimes, shows, sometimes it shows when I smile, but in order for me to smile, I need lipstick on that piece because it does show. Um, and the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick actually stays applied right there even though it will touch the inside of my gum from time to time. And that is a big deal for me because that is one of my insecurities and it helps me with that. And there is no other liquid lipstick that does that good of a job for me. Now for lip glosses, there are actually three different lip glosses that I love. Two of them are only at Sephora. What a better time than to get them during the sale. So my first one I wanna talk about is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. I love this lip gloss so much. It is worth every single penny. Sale or not, I will buy this full price. It is literally that good. Number one, the smell is so nice. This one is in the shade Gloss Bomb. I think this one is very universal. I love it so much. And these are definitely one of the ones that stay in my main drawer and stay in my purse. The next one I want to talk about, you've definitely heard me say it before, um, is the Buxom Lip Creams. Oh my gosh. These are the only ones that I can wear to work. This is the only one that can actually survive my work atmosphere. The thing I love about this lip gloss is 
it literally does not clump up it does not gunk it, it it still looks beautiful no matter if I drink no matter if my lips are dry because I'm running around and I don't have anything to drink um, it it stays absolutely beautiful it kind of also rehydrates my lips the way it feels it has a little tingliness uh, when you apply to it but I love that I would have to say that my favorite shade is in the shade Bellini which is this one right here now I know Buxom is sold at Ulta and Sephora but the shade Bellini is actually only sold at Sephora so I will definitely be picking up a backup of this because not only does this live in my purse like I said this is the only one I wear to work so I definitely need a backup the last lip gloss that I want to talk about is the Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I love these so much. Now, if you can find these in a little set, the minis are perfect. I do not go through a whole size of these um, because obviously I do have other favorites, but these are such a good lip gloss. They do have like a little hint of mint to them, which I actually do enjoy, um, but they are so pretty. I love the color selection that he has and they are just, they feel so good on the lips. Oh, I can't get enough of that little minty smell. All right, so when it comes to lip hydration, there are three items that I want to talk about. Uh, the first one, these are actually the same product, but it's in different forms. This is the Smith's Rosebud Solve. This is literally a lifesaver when it comes to during the day my, with my lips, if I'm not wearing my Buxom lip gloss. And it also really helps keep my kids' lips moisturized as well. So the first one is like a tin can. You know, you kind of stick your finger in there, rub it on your lips. Uh, this isn't my favorite form, but it is what it is. This is my other one. This is like a squeezy tube and then it comes out. So this really hydrates the lips um, and the rose scent is not overpowering because I am the first one to say that I do not like rose scents. I think they are overpowering. They can stink sometimes, but that is not the case when it comes to these. Um, I cannot, I cannot go anywhere without this. This is a must have for your purse. I, I kid you not. So for overnight lip masks, I used to suggest the Agave lip mask. Those are really nice. They were kind of sticky, um, but it did the job. I have found something that is so much better in so many ways, like so many ways. Um, and it is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now they do have different flavors. This is in the shade Watermelon and it smells like heaven. Oh my gosh. Yes, now I use this literally every single night. Um, and look, I have barely dented it. I still have this whole entire jar. And I bought this in December. I bought this in December, I use it every single night, and I still have a whole jar left. So yes, it's 20 bucks, but you seriously get your money's worth. Um, now it is good for 12 months, so I don't have to worry about this going bad. It's probably gonna take me a whole 12 months to go through this whole entire thing, even using it every single night. So I would say if you're looking for a lip mask, this is gonna be your best friend and is definitely 20 bucks well spent. And if you get it during the sale, um, you know, at whatever discount that you're gonna get, then it's definitely m even more so of a really good investment. Two items that I cannot live without. Uh, the first one is the Sephora Bright Future Color Corrector, and this is in the shade Yellow. This saves my under eye because I do not get enough sleep. I really don't. I, I'm always running on like three or four hours sleep pretty much every single day, and my under eyes would look a hot mess if Sephora had not introduced me to this bad boy right here. I think it's like $12 if not a little bit less. So if you're looking for a yellow color corrector, I suggest this one. It really does the job. Um, now when I apply it, I basically just put it on my under eye and tap it with my finger and then I'm ready for my concealer. So speaking of concealers, I have found one to replace my Tarte Shape Tape. Yes, I can say that and I'm so excited. Um, I love my Tarte Shape Tape, which I still have and I use for my cut creases, but this has become the only thing that I use for under my eye. And it is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. They have such a wide selection when it comes to the concealers. The shade selection is amazing. Um, the price is really nice. And on top of that, it is not too drying. The thing about the Tarte Shape Tape is it did the trick, but it was really drying my under eye out. And 
and that part just kind of sucked so this gives me the same exact coverage as my Tarte Shape Tape but it doesn't dry out my under eyes it still feels really hydrated after I wipe it all off and I love that this is actually like my perfect concealer shade I couldn't really find I couldn't really find a shape tape that was perfect this is perfect so if you're looking for a new concealer I would definitely recommend this all right so this next item I have been playing with um, some loose glitter here and there and I thought it was just so complicated to deal with until I found this product now this product actually says limited edition on the website however it has not gone out of stock yet and it is the Sephora collection applicator set these are a absolute game changer you guys um, I use this when I use my loose glitters and it is so much easier um, so there's two different ones that it comes with this is $12 <clears throat> now this one is a little bit more of a flat rubber tip and this one is more of a round dome shape so no matter where I want to put my glitter this helps me be a little bit more precise around the face um, and this flat one I can actually just kind of pack it on in little sections so these are a game changer if you are having as much trouble as i was having with loose glitter and you're looking for an applicator definitely pick these up because i don't know where i would be without them <laughs> i really don't uh, i got a backup set just in case anything ever happens to these and they are so worth the purchase all right guys so that is it for my recommendations i'd love to hear from you guys down below what you're interested in picking up don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up before you go and i'll see you next time Bye.